It's part farm. Thank you. Oh, oh thank my. You so and part fine dining. Put it together and you get the eclectic Bush Farmhouse. I don't believe, Mark, I've ever seen a restaurant like this. Well, first of all, with the fusion of South African and Southern cuisine, but also with animals nearby. Where did that idea come from? Well, this used to be a grocery store. It was called uh, Roots and Fruits. Um, so it was a market and all that stuff. And when I approached the landlord, um, she was amazing. She was just lovely. She's like, I told her what I wanted to do and she's like, go for it. You know, I told her I wanted to do a bar and a restaurant and keep the farm, keep the produce, keep everything going. You know, we added the kitchen and the outdoor grill, um, which is great to cook outside, mm -hmm. you know, because you get the flavors, so you're not cooking inside. Pedals and paddles, they are so cute. The unique concept is the creation of restaurateur Mark Hennigan, who blends his South African heritage with a Southern flair. Yeah, kids love the donkeys, <laughs> yeah. like a little petting zoo, and the, you know, they love the ducks and the chickens and the pigs, and so it's more like a farm restaurant experience, you mm -hmm. know, so it's lovely. Had you seen an idea like this before, or did you just come up with it? Well, I mean, growing up in South Africa, this was like a norm for us. How do you mix the Southern culture and the South African culture on a menu? How do you do that? Well, we change our menu every day. Every day? Every day, lunch wow. and dinner. So whatever's fresh, whatever's great, and which makes it so much better, you know. It's a very relaxed type of preparation. For food, yeah. It is, yeah. And then we so we try to be, you know, a relaxed environment, you know, professional dining, mm -hmm. but relaxed and a lot of every very family friendly and you know and, and you can't be taken seriously because you have donkeys running around and pigs. And, <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> but I have a lot of fun. I wake up in the morning and the roosters are going and the you know, pigs and the donkeys and it's just like you know, it's wild, but um, We've got so much support by the community and people from all over coming in to see us and um, it gets really busy and it's fun. I guarantee you, I am going back, Julia. Now, yeah. for years, Mark ran a very successful restaurant in New York called Mandiba, and it was a tribute to Nelson Mandela. He ended up in Asheville after a visit to town with Paul Simon and his oh, band. Man. That's right. And you can read more about that, about Mark and the beautiful and delicious Bush Farmhouse in my blog at WTHR.com slash Chuck's Big Adventure. It by far yeah. is the most unusual restaurant. Well we have I've to ever know what to. you got to try there. I had a steak with a South African flair, but we, we all okay. got different things, so we were sampling and Mark kept bringing the food yeah. out. So we sampled a lot. I, I liked everything and yeah. I have a very limited like. Okay. It expanded after going to Bush Farmhouse. I'm wonderful trust you place. On that one. And Mark's a wonderful guy. Go and you'll enjoy talking with him. Awesome. Love that. Looking mm -hmm. forward to hearing more about that a little bit later today.